A live look at the Chicago River downtown. What a beautiful shot. Anywhere near the water has been the cool spot during our weekend of hot temps. And that heat is the focus of a new campaign, partnering Chicago with communities across the country to measure the impact of rising temperatures. Anthony Pulse joins us now live with more. Anthony. Corey and Don, when it comes to getting through a heat wave, not all neighborhoods are created equal. A lot of them are significantly hotter than others, depending on several different factors. Now, the uh, ambitious plan this summer, it's called Heat Watch 2023. It launches sometime in July, and it's designed to zero in on exactly where you can go to beat the heat this summer. And believe it or not, uh, temperatures vary, not just neighborhood by neighborhood, but block by block. Here we've got this beautiful boulevard and tree canopy, but we know that not all areas of the city look this way. Just how hot a neighborhood gets during a heat wave depends on many factors. Tree coverage, humidity, airflow, traffic, density of buildings, amount of concrete, and of course, proximity to Lake Michigan. This summer, teams of volunteers will use sensors attached to cars that zero in on where Chicago's hottest pockets are with great precision, eventually generating a citywide heat map identifying the hottest and coolest areas of each neighborhood. This is for you. What we're trying to promote here today is for the people, but it's also in a manner that will be by the people. Heat Watch Chicago 2023 is a partnership between the city of Chicago and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association. When it's complete, Chicagoans will have an interactive map so they know where to avoid and where to go to beat the heat. We're looking forward to working with our community, with everyone here, to explore how the city can improve existing programs and strategies and come up with other ways to help keep residents safe and cool throughout the summer um, and into the fall. All right, so volunteers, they are going to be working in pairs. One driver, one navigator, and the sensors will go on the front of the car. It'll track heat, humidity, time, and location. And if you're interested in either being a driver or a navigator, uh, you can go to uh, chicago.gov slash cool shy to sign up. We are live downtown in the loop. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32, Chicago. <laughs>